Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. Today we will be talking about Apache Log 4J vulnerability that could allow a remote attacker to execute arbitrary code on the system. Um, as we know, or if you don't know, IBM Curator Sim Tool it in itself is not vulnerable to this um, Log 4J vulnerability from Apache okay but however if you have the curator user behavior analytics application add-on on your sim then you will be vulnerable to the Apache log 4j vulnerability in order for you to fix this all you need to do is to go and download an updated version of the application 4.1 4 which you can do by going onto the app exchange right here when you get here you will have to use your IBM ID which is free you can create one or if you already have one you just need to log in and then you will download this application so once you download this application all you need to do is log into your curator appliance or um, virtual machine go into the admin tab and you want to go into extensions management and at this point you just go into click add an extension you select the install immediately you browse and once you you browse you're going to go select the extension that you downloaded and curator is going to install the updated version for you and that is all you need to do and that's going to fix the vulnerable application so as we can see on here the newest version is 4.1.4 .4. the version i have running on my curator community edition is an older version of 3.8.0 so i am vulnerable and i have to go ahead and update this application I can show you so that brings us to the end of this video I just thought I would share this with you guys if you want to follow this documentation it is listed in the link below so all you need to do is just click the link and you should be able to log in and download the latest um, the latest software version of this application if you needed to go through this documentation i also have a link of it listed below okay thank you for watching always and have a nice day please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave any questions you have in the comment section